Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about NBA 2K20 My Career Mode. Now I know what you guys are thinking. My career? That's right, man. But you know what the goal is. Let's go ahead and get 3,000 likes on this video. Listen, I've been enjoying the love that I have been getting from you guys. I know that new season is always the biggest season. And I also want to thank you guys for 600,000 subscribers. Um, somebody told me the other day that it's not out of the ballpark to chase a million. So I'm going to go ahead and chase a million subscribers for you guys and myself as well. I do all of this for y'all, but check it out. NBA 2K20, my career. I know y'all probably thinking... Oh, uh, he's going to go on a spill about Road to 99. Oh, uh, he's going to talk about archetypes again. Uh, well, guess what? I'm not going to talk about any of that. Today, I'm going to be talking about the storyline. Today, I'm going to be talking about a high school that leaked the information of being involved with NBA 2K20 prior to them even releasing any information about my career and the storyline itself. So, I'm going to go ahead and get all the information bundled up. Also, what I want you guys to do is make sure inside of the description, you got, I mean, not description, the chat, that you guys put all different types of uh, timestamps and stuff like that so that we can keep the people that are just showing up that ain't nody gang, that just want to hurry up and come here for information. We'll leave that there for them that so that they'll understand what's going on. So, a few days ago, well, not even a few days ago, literally yesterday, maybe about 36 hours ago. A high school tweeted out and posted on Instagram that they were involved with NBA 2K20 prior to release. Now, this seemed a little sketchy to me only because why would a high school tweet out that they're involved with 2K20? I know that NDAs are usually involved. Also, the second thing is that they said they weren't involved with NBA 2K20 My Player Mode. Now, I know what this can do. I know that this can open up a can of freaking worms because we haven't called my career my player mode in years. So let's get two things off the table real quick. Did 2K just change my career back to my player mode? And is this high school telling the truth? So let's go ahead and hop into the truth real quick. I'm not sure if it's a lie. I'm not sure if it's true. But what I can say is that the high school involved is called Churchland High School. It is in Portsmouth, uh, Virginia. Um, and also, they have a very, very big athletic program. They, they do very well in academics as well. I told you guys, I did a lot of extensive research, not just scrolling on IG, but I actually went to the school's website. And I can say that this school has done a lot. They've recently um, been acquired, well not acquired, but they uh, sparked a partnership with uh, Adidas. So they have like the top of the line gear, top of the line jerseys, like, and this is for every single one of their athletic programs. This is not just basketball. They've been doing very well in track, very well in football, very well in wrestling. They've been doing a lot as far as athletics go. Their athletic department is off the chain. So when this high school tweeted this out and I did all of my homework, it doesn't seem very far-fetched that they would be able to be involved in the process of being in the My Career storyline. Now, I'm not going to go ahead and change the name to My Player for the respect of this video. I'm going to leave it at My Career. But when a high school tweets out that their gym, their, their actual basketball facility, their gym will be involved in the storyline of 2K20, it, it tells me that one of two things, 2K is literally going to have high school games back inside of the 2K series or they will have a tournament style type of basketball storyline. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to branch off onto one, which we'll talk about the just the high school being used as a gym. And then I'll talk about the tournament aspect. So in uh, one of the recent 2Ks, um, the one with uh, freaking vibes and everything like that, that, that was a, that was probably the best storyline 2K ever had. But um, Basquiat, shout out to Basquiat. Uh, so check it out. When you played in high school for that short term, they literally used like the same gym for all of the games that you were basically facing the um, other teams and stuff like that. Now the teams, I really didn't care about, but the facility itself, it was a lot of, you know, B-roll, a lot of A-roll shot in one specific gym.
Okay, I'm hungry. But uh, so with that being said, when it comes to a tournament type of style, what happens when they try to throw a high school tournament for a championship, which Churchland just literally won a championship not too long ago. I seen that on their Instagram feed. What happens when they do that? I believe that if they do do that, this high school will be used in its full entirety for the storyline. And it'll probably make for a pretty good storyline, seeing as though we'll be able to start from high school. Now, also in that, we also were able to go to college and we were also able to play in the USA Olympics. I'm not sure if all of that is going to be inside of NBA 2K20, but I feel like the high school part is a big start. Now, what I want to know is what type of voice actors and actors themselves, because of course they'll be scanned and mocapped and everything like that. I want to know who they're going to use for the actors. Now, I know probably in like the next couple weeks and probably like, yeah, yeah, I would say the next couple weeks. Um, IMBD or whatever that w website is where people are uh, used for movies and you know stuff like that I believe 2k has to release certain information before their game comes out to let people know that they're gonna be in like a storyline movie type of scene they did that with uh, 2k 16 2k 17 and 2k 18 and 2k 19 so when it comes to the storylines these actors are already gonna have to have that credit from 2k and being used in their game so i will be scouring google to see if i can find out who the actors are and if i find that information out before release i will let you guys know about it but one thing i want to say to you guys do you think that this high school is telling the truth because in their instagram post they said that they were giving away copies of nba 2k20 now of course if you're giving away copies of nba 2k20 i know what you're doing you know what I'm saying? It's time to build that other hype. You know what I'm saying? You want to get them followers up and things of that nature. But will these copies be coming from NBA 2K? Or will they be going out to a store and purchasing these copies to give away to the fans that are in the IG post? Now, if these copies are coming from 2K, of course, they're in the game. But they didn't specify where they'll be getting the copies from. But they did specify that they will be doing a giveaway. They did that via Twitter and via Instagram. Now, I'm not telling you to go spam their Twitter and their Instagram about free copies. But I mean, y'all spam my DMs about it. Literally, somebody asked me the other day, how many retweets will it take for me to give them a free copy of 2K? Somebody asked me on IG, how many likes would it take for me to give them a copy of NBA 2K20? And I'm like, I don't know. What do y'all think? Leave that in the comment sections. Maybe I'll do a giveaway later. But back to the, this high school. So. Like I said, Churchland High School is very big and at, um, their athletic program, their academic program is good as well. Um, they're in Portsmouth, VA, which is not that bad of an area. There are a couple bad areas, of course, all around all around America where, you know, some people are in, in deeper poverty than others. And there are some, you know, people that are living high class, you know what I mean? But what I can say is I believe that it's true. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be in the comment section like, I probably here you go, believing in truth. But what I can say is I made a video about the new shot meter and that the grand badge was coming back, right? Now, I was going to make a entirely total, uh, totally different video about the grand badge, but what they're calling it is they're calling it dual takeover, but the placement of the actual uh, takeover badge itself is back under the player back like how the grand badge was so i was correct i don't know about you guys but i was correct in an assessment that the grand badge was um coming back well at least the look of it i knew that takeover was going to stay because why would they take takeover out takeover is like literally uh one of the biggest things in their game right now as far as social media posts and stuff like that people love posting when they're in takeover people love posting the things that they can do while in takeover you rarely see clips of people on youtube twitter instagram facebook of gamers without their takeover on whenever you see little clips they're always in takeover there's only a couple uh type of people that don't post like that and that are dribblers dribblers that can dribble real good they usually don't post when they're in takeover because they usually can break people without takeover but for everybody else you're sharp you know you splashing in your takeover slasher you know you dunking on posterizing on people and your takeover stuff like that 
But um, like I want to say to you guys, I was right. Y'all was wrong. Y'all tried to get me, but I be right. To all the haters out there, we still love y'all. But we gonna highlight y'all in the next video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe. Shout out to everybody for 600K. I'm going to holler at you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.